Simon Anderson and I'm the CEO of DreamHost and the co-founder and chair of a new company called Ink Tank. DreamHost is a web and cloud hosting company and we serve about 350,000 customers around the world. We're a pretty unique company actually. We're entirely employee owned. Last year, you know, we did around 32 million in revenue and this year we'll probably do 42, 43 million in revenue. So growing pretty fast. I just love, you know, running businesses, starting businesses because you're really at the heart of it. You know, you're building a team, you're, you're not consulting, you're not advising, you're actually making decisions every day that are meaningful and, um, you know, significant and risky and it's kind of exciting. I originally came to LA um, from Silicon Valley where I first moved from Australia. All of a sudden I was in the heart of startup and entrepreneurship and of course, you know, being early 30s I thought I knew everything and I knew very little. <laughs> I realize now LA is a great place to start a company and I think a lot of it's because there's, there's this sort of intersection of internet and digital media here and big media that is really interesting. I started out, actually, I'd done a science and law combined degree at ANU. I was a part of a lot of the law reviews when my time at ANU Law School, which, you know, at one point, I think we had four high court judges in the audience for, for our law reviews. ANU is not only an, you know, an undergrad institution, but it's a, an amazing research school. Whenever I talk to people, even here in the US, about the ANU, it's recognized as a, you know, a world-class institution globally. So that makes me really, really proud. And I'm also proud that it's in my hometown of Canberra. My advice would be experience is everything. The experience that you get along the way is going to count later on. In the modern world, most employers are sort of looking for someone who's well-rounded as well as having that direct skill set. When I was a VC, I looked at doing a number of investments that were of technology out of ANU and that's an area where I really want to focus on now in the next sort of five years is what are the technologies that are coming out of ANU research that could be really interesting in the world of the internet and domains that I participate in. There's a lot the university can offer back to me even now, 20 years since I um, completed my, my studies there. Mm -hmm.